She took a piece of hotel stationery from her clutch. This is what I'm staying. Penthouse suite. You are paying for that, by the way. Zamakona took the paper, but didn't look at it. We are aware of your choice of lodgings. When will you do it? The opening gala for the exhibition is tomorrow at the Miskatonic Museum. You will acquire tickets for me, so that I might take stock of what awaits me, and plan accordingly. When? A day. Maybe two at the most. She finished her drink and set it down. I am a thief, but not a stupid one. I do not throw myself into situations without first assessing them. For a moment, Zamakona looked as if he wished to argue. Then he stood. I must confer with my employers. You will wait here. He stalked over to the bar and spoke to the bartender. The latter brought out a telephone in a glass case. He must be a big shot if they're bringing that out. At the words, Alessandra blinked in surprise and looked down. Pepper grinned up at her from where she crouched on the floor. What are you doing? She hadn't even noticed the younger woman approach. You told me to buy some spaghetti. Alessandra stared at her. Pepper's grin faded. Fine. Watching out for you. This is a rough joint. She peered over the table, eyes narrowed. Lots of trouble in here tonight. Alessandra took in the neat tables and well-heeled patrons. Yes. Positively barbaric. You don't know who runs this place. I do, actually. A family called the Obanians. You know the Obanians? Not intimately. She'd never had the bad luck to cross paths officially with the gang. But she made it a point to learn what she could about the local criminal element. It often saved time later. The Obanians were the largest of several bootlegging outfits with an interest in Arkham, and she intended to steer clear of them if at all possible. Regardless, while I thank you for your concern, I hired you to drive me, not be my bodyguard. Look, you don't know Arkham, Countess. She ducked down as a waitress glided past, heading for the bar. Say, give me a drink, would you? All this crawling has made me thirsty. Get your own. I'm paying you enough. I'm not even supposed to be in here. Not after last time. Alessandra decided to let the comment pass. (sighs) How did you even get in here? I know a guy who let me in the back. Alessandra waited for her to elaborate. Pepper didn't seem interested in doing so, however. Uh, I assure you, I'm capable of taking care of myself. So thank you for your concern, but... But he's coming back. Go, now. Pepper muttered an obscenity and scrambled beneath a nearby table, vanishing under the tablecloth. Graphic audio. A movie in your mind.